Hi, this is Brian Klein with Thunderhead Engineering. I want to answer a question that we had through support channel about creating T-square fires in FDS through Pyrosim. And so uh, I'll show you a couple of little neat resources and a quick way to specify the parameters that you need to create the T-square fire. So we'll get started by going to uh, Chris Overholt Christopher Overall has a nice website, koverholt.com, and if you click on his FPE calculators button here, uh, it takes you to a list of all kinds of little tools that he's put online to help with various calculations. One of those, the second one down here, is the T-squared fire ramp calculator. So we'll use that. Now, you of course can calculate this yourself using a spreadsheet or whatever uh, to come up with the values that you need, but Chris has made this really easily by putting in the standard uh, fire growth coefficients or the alpha values that people are familiar with. And in this case, let's do a fast growth fire. And here you specify when the T-squared fire ramp should stop, either at a peak heat release rate or at a maximum time. And so in this case, we want to go up to 1,000 kilowatts. Oops. Um, and we'll let the time be computed. This will help us in Pyrosim. And uh, I'm going to specify that I would like heat release rate ramp text, and I have a one square meter vent, which I have in my Pyrosim model here. My little vent is one square meter. So now I'll calculate the ramp, and I get some results. It'll t it tells me here that the one megawatt is attained at a time of 147 seconds, and I see the curve for that here. So in, when you specify, we'll, we'll just make this new here, delete that, yep, and yeah, we'll go to inert on this for now. Okay, so um, now I want to make a new surface, and we'll go to new, and we'll call this fire, and this will be a burner surface, okay, and um, the peak is one megawatt, which is, I already have that here, but my ramp up time, instead of hitting the peak in one second, which is the default, I'll use the T-square option. And here I know from Chris's calculator that I want to hit that, for a fast growth fire, I want to hit that in 147 seconds. Okay, and you can just type in 147 here, and apply. Okay, and now I can go to my burner, my little vent that I drew, and apply the fire surface to that. And I see here that I have my little fire burner, and um, I've already run this calculation so that we could see it, but um, you can preview the data here, and this is the output from FDS. And what I did then is I took that data into Excel, so this is the FDS data in blue, and I entered the ramp values calculated based on the data that came out of the ramp here. Let me show you that. Um, you can s say download the ramp file here. And what we see up at the top is essentially the time and fraction of a peak of 1013.5, which is which will reach the 1000 in 147 seconds. So I basically calculated the factor over time here using the 1013.5 that's specified in the ramp. And when I chart plot those together with the FDS output data, okay, um, this you can see that the FDS computation is the same growth rate and matches pretty close to the theoretical heat release rate that we've requested. It's a little bit of a, a little bit of a loss, but very very close, and hits around a thousand at 147 or so seconds, which is really really close to what we want. And then it stays at the 1,000, you know, continues on until 200 seconds, which is when I had the simulation stop. So it just would stay at that peak, and uh, so that's it using the um, ramp up time t square and entering the time to the peak of a thousand here using Chris's calculator uh, made it very easy to you know build out a t squared fire now if you wanted a slow growth an ultra fast medium growth whatever you would just change the parameter here um, let's say ultra fast um, and then recalculate and we'll get a new curve, so it should hit in 74 seconds, we would just change the 147 to 74, and we would have the ultra-fast curve. So that's it. If you have any questions, please email support at thunderheadeng.com, and we'll be happy to help you. Thank you.